Hello friends, welcome to BISP Solutions. Myself, I should add, I work as a technical consultant at BISP Solutions. BISP Solutions is a tech company and provide technological solutions across the world. Now in this video, I am going to show you what is convolutional neural network, okay? So in this video, I am going to give you just an introduction, right? And in next, in next video, I am going to show you some practical work, okay? So, what is this convolutional neural network? Okay, so let's have a look. Now, see here, uh, introduction to convolutional neural network. Now, CNN is a class of deep neural network primarily used for analyzing visual data. Uh, visual data means, for example, you might have seen the cameras installed uh, on on roads right a car uh, if if it uh, drives more than a given limit then immediately the photo is captured the image is captured and then immediately a uh, digital chalan is sent to address so these type of works are, are now done with the help of ai right they automatically and adaptively learn spatial hierarchies and features from images widely used in image classification objects suppose if i show you Suppose if I show you this, look at this. One of the main categories to do image classification and image recognition in neural network, right? So scene labeling, object detection and face recognition are some of the areas where convolutional neural networks are widely used. So it's a library. Let's have a look on this image. For example, if you want this image to be read by the machine. so it divides that image into several parts first is convolutional then the pooling right here you can see feature map and then with the help of pooling it distributes the image it splits the image in different different parts and then it you will see here boat house tree cat everything is separately extracted so in this way the um, this library is used now see here architecture how this architecture works now it consists of three main type of layer one is convolutional layer second is pooling layer and third is fully connected layer these layer works together to detect different features from an input image different different features it captures right so for example let me show you this convolutional layer the convolutional layer is the core building block of cnn it applies filter, also known as kernels, to input data to create features map and detects features such as edges, textures, pattern. It detects the features like uh, the edges. For example, if you have given any image and then it detects the edges of that image. For example, if a face, if a person's image is there, definitely his face, it will detect the edges of his face that where you can uh, bifurcate from where the face is started you might have uh, also seen in some uh, in online uh, meeting applications where you can blur out the back end image but that uh, the camera will not blur your face it will blur the background background of the uh, attendee right so uh, detecting the edges the texture and the pattern the texture and the pattern of that that is called the convolutional image uh, convolutional layer second is pooling layer now pooling layer reduces the dimension of the picture feature maps while retaining the most important information for example it reduces the dimension it it reduces the size of the image right it's it reduces the size of the image now common type of uh, types are max pooling and average pooling these are the two techniques right we will discuss it in our upcoming videos this step helps reduces computation and preventing overfitting that means a very large size image is given then in that case it reduces the size of the image okay if i show you this let's see this here you will see convolutional is here pooling it reduces the size right and then you will see here fully connected layer now fully connected means after the convolutional pooling layer the images are flattened and passed to fully connected layer it breaks the image that means breaking the image first of all it will uh, 
apply the algorithm and reduces the size of the image then it breaks the image into into series right the fully connected layer are used to predict the final output such as classifying object in an image so in this way this is called breaking of image if i show you somewhere example in the above diagram the fully and the feature map matrix will be converted into vectors such as x1 x2 x3 up to xn with the help of fully connected layer we will combine feature to create a model and apply the activation function such as softmax and sigmoid right we have already learned about sigmoid in my previous video you can refer to that video so after this in our next video we will see how to what type of uh, libraries we are going to import while working with this cnn network right so how we will do this we will see it in our next upcoming videos right and we will also see cnn in action how the pooling network works and then application cnn is widely used such as computer vision but mostly it is a very big library and it is basically used for image image detection right or reading the images or the analysis on images so guys go through this video again and uh, uh we will see we will uh, continue this video this cnn network in our next video uh, practically we will do some work and those who are new to this channel please subscribe my channel so that you will get the notification in advance right and if you have any doubt you can put down in the comment box i will resolve them so guys in our next video we will see some other features right thanks Thanks for watching the video.